In this video, I'll show you how you can use Flask within Python to render HTML content to the web browser. Uh, if you don't have the basic starter code for this, I've included a link to uh, the GitHub repository where you can go and download it to the description for this video. Okay, so to get started then, if we go straight to the uh, Orion editor, and if you remember from the previous video, this is where our code lives. So if we open the, the Python web app directory here, uh, we can see that there are all the files from before, and this main.py um, should look familiar. So this just returns that basic string um, to the browser when somebody tries to go to our website. Okay then, so we need to make some changes. The first thing we need to do is create a folder called static. Now in this directory we'll put all of our static files uh, that we want to be able to send back to users when they visit our website. Um, in here we'll go the HTML code. So if you create that folder and then within the static directory we also need to create a file for our HTML. Uh, let's go ahead and call this index.html because it's the first page that users will see when they visit our website. Okay and let's open index.html and start writing some code. So the first bit of syntax we need is this here, HTML, and that informs the browser that the content that is going to come next will be HTML content, uh, and it should render it accordingly. Uh, let's create a header as well, and this will let us control lots of different information about our page, specifically set the title, which is what the tab is labeled at at the top if you see, and we can also set a number of different things in here as well. Let's go and make a body now, which will be the content for our page. And within this, we want a heading. Uh, so we're gonna include an H1 there, um, put a simple title, Chris Parsons Portfolio. And let's also include a paragraph. Um, so the tags there, H1 and P, tell the browser how to render the content differently. So it knows that when it sees H1, that it's rendering a title but when it sees a P, it's going to render a paragraph. Um, we'll get into styling that kind of content later, but for now, that should be plenty to, to get us going. Uh, and that's it for our HTML file. So let's go ahead and save that and go back to our main.py file. So in main.py, this is our Python code for our web app, uh, we define this function, hello. Uh, and I'm gonna rename that now because hello doesn't make sense as we start to build this website out and we start to do more with it. So I'm gonna call this home page because I want this function to be called to render my home page. Okay, so instead of returning that basic string to the client browser, what we're going to do is make a function call to file. Now, what this will do is look within the current folder for a folder called static and check within that file to see if any files exist that match the name of the one that we pass. So here we're going to pass index.html. And what that will do is mean that whenever somebody goes to um, the forward slash page on our website. So at the moment, any page on our website, um, Flask is going to respond by sending the content of index.html to the browser. And that's all we need to do. So if we flick back now to our Google Cloud Platform console, and within the cloud shell there, if we type gcloud app deploy to start the deployment step. And once that's completed, uh, we can copy this URL and paste it into the browser window at the top there and we should see our HTML code come back to us. So there we go, that's the code that we just wrote coming back to the browser with Python and Flask. Thank you very much for watching.